Hey guys, today we're gonna make a really big, cool Jeep to take photos with at a kids camp that is happening at our church, at my church. So I'm gonna make this Jeep for the kids to take photos with before I go to the camp. And it's gonna look great, so let's go. Come along with me so that you can use this structure or another structure to use in your party or event. So let's get started. The first thing was to assemble the template, as I'm showing you here. Print out the whole template on A4 sheets of paper. There's a template guide that comes with the template which helps and guides me when I'm assembling it so that I know where to put each marked out part. Once I've assembled the whole template, my Jeep is ready and it's time to transfer it onto the board. The board that I'm using is a Depron XPS board, but you could also use a foam board. This Jeep is going to be approximately 1 meter and 40 centimeters in height. Once I've put the template onto the board, I mark it out using a pencil or a pointed or rounded object in order so that it makes a mark on the board. This will also depend on the board that I've chosen. So now I've traced out the whole template and here's a tip. It helps to use a ruler on the straighter sections. And now I'm going to cut it out. To cut it out, I'm using this utility knife, very sharp. So if it's not sharp, you need to sharpen it so that it can cut the board nice and easily. Once I've done this on my board, I've cut out the whole template. I also cut out the inner section, which is a small section that needs to be cut out. I did this part and now it's time to cut out the sides. You can cut out your side sections depending on what you're going to put inside. If you're going to fill it with paper, you can cut out an average of 10 centimeters in height for the sides or 14 centimeters in height if you're going to fill it with balloons. As I'm going to fill mine with paper, I measured out 10 centimeters in height. I got a whole board and started cutting out. I cut out of a black board to make my black border, which is on the Jeep design. If you like this, go ahead and leave a like here for me. Now you just need to glue on the sides all the way around the Jeep, the whole Jeep template. I did all the outer edges, so now I take the section for the windshield and I start shaping the inner section as well. For the inner decoration, I use tissue paper and I cut it into 10 by 10 centimeter squares. I put a pencil inside and put some glue right in the middle of the square and I press it down, leaving the four corners facing upwards in the same way that I'm doing. It's not difficult to do. It's very simple, very easy. It looks really nice, and unlike the balloon, it will last a long, long, long time. On the part where we're going to put the car number plate, I also used a Depron XPS board with the number 2022 and to make the car tyres, I used coloured paper cut out. To make the coloured paper more solid, I put some transparent acetate paper on the top. This will help me in the moment that it comes to gluing. So all the details are here to glue onto our car once it's ready. 
On laminated paper, I also cut out the word season and I made the car headlights and also the tire details. Now it's time to glue on all of the details. I did this one detail at a time. For this bottom section, I used the same Depron XPS board to make it, but you could also use paper or cardboard, whatever you like, and painted the color that you would like. To finish the upper section, you just need to add on the paper details. So I'm going to glue on my season word here on the upper part of the Jeep. I'm also going to glue on the headlights. You can see how good it is to use the acetate paper because I'm able to glue it directly onto the cardboard. I'm going to stretch out the acetate. The headlight is already glued onto the acetate, so I don't need to glue it onto the paper. So this means that it stays firm here on my Jeep. Once you've added on all of the details, look how nice it looks. We're going to make the most of it and take some photos before we take it to the event location. And it turned out really cool and fun. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. I'm going to stick around here. Lots of love to you all and see you for the next video. Bye!